Welcome, shall we observe the sun? Here we see the solar flare classification chart for the last three days, whereas the largest flares were C-class. One on the 26th and the other on the 27th. Solar wind incoming. A stream of solar wind is approaching Earth. Estimated time of arrival, February 28 through March 1. The gaseous material is flowing from an irregular hole in the sun's atmosphere, and could spark Arctic auroras when it reaches our planet. Up next is the aurora forecast, 26 to the 27th. The two maps show the north and south poles of Earth respectively. Here we observe the green ovals centered on Earth's magnetic pole. The green ovals turn red when the aurora is forecasted to be more intense, shown today is a faint green which means a weak aurora. On this geospace magnetosphere model, the solar pressure is shown for today, which is moderately high. Watch as the magnetosphere fluctuates as waves of solar energy passes over it. The magnetosphere is the region around a planet dominated by the planet's magnetic field. The Earth has the strongest one of all the rocky planets. Earth's magnetosphere is a vast, comet shaped bubble, which has played a crucial role in our planet's habitability. On this HMI intensity gram chart, two sunspot regions are observed on the Earth facing side of the Sun. Both are alpha classified, of the unipolar sunspot group, which means they are of a low possibility of creating a solar flare. Here they can be observed on this SDO 1700 filter. Now an up-close look at sunspots, 2954 and 2955. Notice the size of the Earth, compared to the size of the sunspots. This coronal hole map, shows a sprinkling of coronal holes, covering the Earth-facing side of the Sun today. Here is a look at the coronal holes seen through different filters. SDO 193 filter. SDO 211 filter. SDO 171 filter. On this SDO 304 filter, looking at the western limb of the Sun, two sunspot regions rotating Earth facing on the Sun, looks to be quite active, and I will keep an eye on them for you in the upcoming days. Here, you can see the position of the planets, looking in the direction of the Sun. Up next, is a magnified view. This is the position of the planets today. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you. <laughs>